Hello friends. Uh, today we'll be dealing with the transportation engineering, which comes under civil engineering branch. Okay, it covers six to eight marks. Transportation plus survey, it makes it to fifteen marks. So it's very important. Well, right now we are dealing with the geometric design. So in geometric design, we have further basic elements of a road, then gradients, then side distance. In side distance, we'll cover stopping side distance. Overtaking side distance and intermediate side distance. Further, we have a few more points that we'll cover afterwards. Well, let's deal with the basic elements. Well, in basic elements, first we will deal with the camber. So, what exactly a camber means? Camber is nothing but a cross slope provided to a road. So, this is a road section, and this is a cross slope provided to a road in order to facilitate a proper drainage of the water. Okay, so W is the width of the road. Suppose, okay, we have slope one in M. We have slope one in M. Okay, so now suppose we need to find out the height which is required at the center. Let it be x. Okay, so suppose now one is For n horizontal, we have one vertical. For n horizontal, we have one vertical. For w by two horizontal, for w by two horizontal, we have x. Okay. Therefore, x is equal to x is equal to w by two n. Two. So this is our main equation for a straight line camber. It's very important. For a straight line camber, we have derived equation x is equal to w by two l. Okay, fine. So this was regarding the straight line camber. The next is parabolic or elliptical camber. Fine. This was straight line camber. Okay, so we we'll deal with the parabolic. Or will it be the elliptical camber? Fine. So in straight line or parabolic. So this is a parabolic or elliptical camber. Okay. For this, we have an equation. Again, this is the W is the width of the road. Okay. This is slope, which is one in n again. Fine. So x is the horizontal distance of any point. Y is the vertical height of that point. This point I am talking about. Okay. So we have an equation. Y is equal to two x square upon n w. Y is equal to two x square upon n w. Okay. Fine. Then next is the combination of both. Combination of both is this: the straight line and parabolic. That is straight line and parabolic camber. Combination of Is not straight line and parabola. Okay, so here. 
there will be straight portion again a parabola and a straight portion ready so this is a parabolic portion which is provided at the center okay in case of a straight line camber there was a point at the center there was a point at the center okay in case of parabolic camber it was completely smooth here we have a straight portion small parabolic portion at the center and then again straight portion okay so it is combination of both straight and parabolic this is straight this is straight this is parabolic okay that is parabolic fine here again w is the width of the road fine so this were few types of camber straight line camber parabolic or elliptical camber and combination of straight line and parabolic camber fine now there is one more equation or i can say the relationship between a gradient and a camber so gradient and camber we have a equation called as g is equal to 2c so what exactly it means camber which is to be provided to the road should be half of the longitudinal gradient okay means longitudinal slope of the road so i will transfer this to you so camber should be half of the gradient longitudinal slope of the road so this is one equation that is g is equal to 2c fine so this is this equation is for proper drainage and smooth flow of the vehicles on the road this is must okay 